The South Pacific Ocean is so vast. When you look at it on the map, it's a beautiful, endless body of blue ocean. But if you zoom in enough, you will begin to see this group of islands. And there are people living here, about 103,000 of them. They are called the Tonga Islands. The largest of them is Tonga Tapu. 65 kilometers north of the island is the Honga Tonga undersea volcano. The lives of the Tonga people who called this place home changed on the 15th of January 2022. On that morning, the Honga Tonga volcano under the sea erupted, sending shockwaves that were felt across the continents. The event was captured by satellite images. From these images, we can see huge plumes of ash, steam and gas rising from the ocean. The explosion was heard and felt as far away as Alaska, Fiji and Vanuatu, where people reported feeling the ground and buildings around them shaking for hours. What followed was a wave of tsunami. The most affected is the island of Tongatapu, which is 65 kilometers away. The tsunami has caused massive damage and at least three deaths. The effect of the eruption was felt across several countries, Fiji, American Samoa, Australia, Peru, Japan, and the United States are some of the countries that experience tsunami waves. The islands now remain covered in ash from the eruption, and that's a huge problem. The uh, more immediate impact on Tonga especially was the, uh, the ash fall uh, directly from the, from the cloud, which blanketed most of the uh, Tongan landscape in a few centimeters of ash from what has been seen of satellite images. Uh, and that basically had an impact on uh, uh, basically water, uh, drinking water sources, on vegetation, grazing for animals, etc. Uh, because the volcanic ash is toxic. The volcano is found in a geologically active region known as the Ring of Fire. It's the boundary where two tectonic plates meet. The constant movements of these tectonic plates triggers geological activities such as earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. This explains why this region has been experiencing many volcanic eruptions. As of 18th January, response efforts were continuing amid communication outages caused by damaged undersea communication cables from the eruption. With telecommunications down, WHO is on the ground in Tonga helping coordinate the response by channeling information between UN agencies, humanitarian partners and the Tongan government. Information on the degree of destruction is still being gathered, but WHO will do all it can to support the people and government of Tonga. This eruption is of course reminiscent of what happened in 2021 at Mount Nyiragongo in Congo. We have a full story on why Mount Nyiragongo is so dangerous. If you'd like to learn more, visit our social media pages or our YouTube channel, Debank.